Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Latson, a board-certified equine surgeon and Full Bucket co-founder. In this video, I'm going to explain why teeth floating is essential for your horse, and I'll also share some tips on how to keep your horse's teeth strong and healthy between dental exams by your veterinarian. Before we talk about floating, let's talk about the structure of your horse's teeth and mouth. Generally, horses have as many as 44 permanent teeth by the time they turn five years old. This number varies a little between stallions and mares, but in general, it's 44. These teeth continue to grow throughout your horse's life. The horse's front teeth are called incisors. They clip off grass, hay, or other plant material. Those are the front teeth that you'll see when you lift the lips. The teeth lining the horse's cheeks are premolars and molars. They loop, move in a lateral motion. They work to grind the food into a consistency that's a lot easier for digestion and to unlock the nutrients. So why does your horse need their teeth floated? Well, horses can easily develop sharp edges on their molars and unbalanced incisors due to their natural chewing motion. Sometimes this results in points or hooks or ramps or other types of configurations in the teeth that really limit the motion of the chewing. Oftentimes those points and hooks, they're on the cheek side of the upper premolars and molars, and they're on the tongue side of the grinding teeth in the back of the mouth. Some of them develop really large hooks in the front of the upper second premolar. That's also sometimes called the six tooth, or at the back of the last molar. These hooks can really be big if they're not checked frequently. That last one in the back of the mouth, too, can be super difficult to see without a thorough exam and the use of a mouse speculum to open your mouth, horse's mouth widely enough to see all the way into the back. The sharp edges and points are really important because they can cause a great deal of discomfort and sometimes injury to your horse's mouth. You can see cheek ulcers, gum ulcers, lacerations on the tongue from these points. That's how sharp they can get. They can cause irregular chewing motions that translates to abnormal forces in the TMJ or the temporomandibular joint. Oftentimes horses, particularly in dressage horses, will, will hear complaints that they just aren't responding to the bit, to really gentle cues at the bit like they should be because their TMJs are, are really bothering them. So to relieve the pain in those areas, sometimes horses will start chewing in an unnatural motion to compensate. So this can cause a variety of problems like digestive issues, jaw problems, even diseases in the teeth. These abnormal forces of chewing can also translate down the tooth into the periodontal ligament. This, this is the ligament that holds that tooth into the, into the jaw. And so now we're creating forces that predispose to other more major problems. Some of the other things that can be a result of these hooks and ramps and points and, and abnormal chewing motions are things like uh, incomplete chewing, which causes long staple feed to go down into the digestive tract. So we're seeing a, a downstream ripple effect into the gut. So the gut has to work a lot harder to extract all of the nutrients out of the unchewed food. And if the horse gets just a little bit dehydrated, say this is a performance horse that isn't drinking as, as much as it should be, or this is a horse in Montana or Wyoming or Colorado during the winter time that just isn't going to its, its uh, water trough as frequently as it should be, now if we combine this long staple from lack of chewing adequately with a little bit of dehydration, now we run the risk of a bigger problem like a feed impaction. So having the teeth floated and ensuring good dental health in horses is important year round. So to avoid these problems, it's really important to have your horse's teeth floated frequently or often enough. And typically that's about once a year. And this process of teeth floating is simply when your equine veterinarian floats down or gently grinds down those sharp points inside the mouth on the teeth. It's a really important opportunity too for your veterinarian to just do a general exam on your horse, to look and do a full oral exam, look for tooth fractures, which happen a lot more often than what we once thought, and for other issues in the mouth as well. It could be those ulcers on the cheeks. It could be a laceration on the tongue. It could be a, a host of other problems. 
So the teeth floating exam or the oral exam should be an annual process. Like I said, for some horses, it, it should be more often. If there's a history of a tooth fracture or some other problem with, with the jaw or teeth, if your horse has had a mandibular fracture at some point, um, there are other reasons that, that you may want to have your horse examined more often, like every six months. But generally, six months to a year is the regular interval to have this exam done. At this point, we've talked about oral health, dental health in horses, and we've just touched on some general things. Why is floating teeth important? How does it contribute to digestion? What are some of the common problems that we see in horses? And what are some of the less common problems we see in horses' mouths when we do those oral, oral exams? One of the things that we haven't talked about is what is a critical call for having an oral exam done? or a dental exam done. One of those is constant drooling. That can be anything from a tongue laceration that, um, that's uncomfortable for the horse. It can be ulcers in the cheeks. Um, it can be something more severe like choke where your horse has got a feed ball caught in its esophagus. Uh, another would be a really foul nasal odor called ozena. That's a call for, and typically that's only from one side of the nose, but that's a call for having an oral exam done. That may be an infected tooth root in the uppers. So all of these are reasons to have your veterinarian out now for an oral exam versus the routine annual exam. So we've talked about the fact that digestion starts with chewing. And our goal here at Full Bucket is always to optimize digestion, whether it's from the incisors or the stomach or the small intestine or further back in the large intestine and seek them all the way back to that perfect fecal ball. So it should come as no surprise that I do recommend probiotics for horses. What we're looking to do is create optimum digestion from tip to tail. And by giving those probiotics, not only are we optimizing gut health, but we're taking that beautifully chewed feed and we're unlocking all the nutrients and protecting the digestive tract and microbiome while we're at it. I don't necessarily recommend probiotics because it's an oral health fix. Some people do believe that probiotics do contribute to oral health. There is documentation of that in small animals. And we may find that documentation, documentation too and, and get that research as we do more with oral health in horses. Dentistry is really something that has come to the forefront just in the last 10 to 15 years in horses. So we're really starting to see some, uh, some exciting advances with horses and dentistry. While I'm talking about those probiotics that I recommend, if you're looking for the right probiotic paste to use to optimize the digestive tract in combination with regular dental care for your horse, check out fullbuckethealth.com to see our entire line of probiotics, including a great probiotic paste. This paste contains 100 billion CFUs of the most researched, clinically supported strain of probiotic. That's Saccharomyces boulardii. It also contains prebiotics to feed your horse's good gut bacteria and L-glutamine to promote the health of the intestinal lining. And be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe to our Full Bucket YouTube channel for more exclusive content on helping your horse be and perform it at its best all year round.